Welcome to Bedtime Bliss with Rosie Ling. Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She wore a red hood and cloak. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, My dear, Granny is ill. Take her this basket of fruit. Of course, Mother. I'll make sure Granny gets them right away. Little Red Riding Hood's granny lived on the other side of the wood. Little Red Riding Hood walked through the wood towards her granny's house. She didn't see a hungry wolf watching her. The hungry wolf jumped out in front of Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you going? Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. I'm on my way to visit my granny. She's not feeling well, you see. How unfortunate. And where might your granny live, my dear? She lives in a house on the other side of the wood. I'm bringing her some fruits to make her feel better. The wolf's eyes gleamed with mischief as he formulated a wicked plan. That's very kind of you. Why don't you pick some flowers for your granny? I'm sure she'd appreciate the gesture. Oh, what a lovely idea. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Oblivious to the wolf's true intentions, Little Red Riding Hood wandered off the path, her heart set on gathering the prettiest flowers for her granny. While Little Red Riding Hood is distracted, the wolf hurries to Granny's cottage. Seizing the opportunity, the cunning wolf dashed through the forest to Granny's cottage, his mouth watering at the thought of a delicious meal. Arriving at Granny's doorstep, the wolf wasted no time in devouring poor Granny and slipping into her nightcap and spectacles, ready to deceive Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood skipped up to Granny's cottage, her heart light and her basket filled with beautiful flowers for her beloved Granny. Granny! Granny! I've brought you some lovely flowers. Little Red Riding Hood enters Granny's cottage and notices something amiss about Granny. Granny! What big ears you have! All the better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what big eyes you have! All the better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood's eyes widened in horror as she realized the truth. You're not Granny. You're the big bad wolf. With courage in her heart, Little Red Riding Hood faced the wolf, determined to outsmart him and save herself and her Granny. You may have tricked me, Mr. Wolf, but I won't let you harm us. Help! Somebody help! Hearing Little Red Riding Hood's cries for help, a brave woodcutter, who was passing by, burst into Granny's cottage, his axe at the ready. With a mighty swing of his axe, the woodcutter struck down the wicked wolf, freeing Little Red Riding Hood and Granny from his clutches. With the wolf vanquished, Little Red Riding Hood and Granny embraced each other, grateful to be reunited and safe once more. Fear not, young maiden. I'll save you from this fiendish creature. Over a steaming pot of tea and plates of freshly baked cookies, Granny thanked the brave woodcutter for his heroism and invited him to stay a while. Please, dear woodcutter, won't you join us for tea? We owe you our deepest gratitude. It would be my pleasure, Granny. I'm just glad I could help. And so, amidst laughter and warmth, Little Red Riding Hood, Granny and the kind woodcutter shared tales of their adventure, forging a bond that would last a lifetime. The scene fades as they enjoy their tea, leaving behind a tale of bravery, kindness, and the triumph of good over evil. I hope you enjoy the bedtime story and thank you for watching.